morning and welcome to Begin in the Word. Our text today comes from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 5 through 7. The Bible says, A faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge is easy for a man of understanding. Leave the presence of a fool, for there you do not meet words of knowledge. In today's study, we are working through book two within the larger book of Proverbs. This book includes chapter 10 through chapter 24. It contains Proverbs that Solomon collected during his reign. This outline shows where we are working in the text. The subject of today's proverb is, Look Who's Talking. Today's text is a series of two antithetic proverbs that lead to a concluding progressive parallel proverb. Like stair steps, these three proverbs lead us to a place of elevated truth. The set of three statements are based on the theme of credibility. We will use a phrase today, mode of being. The phrase mode of being is a simple way to describe a person's way of thinking, living, and experiencing life. Aristotle described it as a person's isness. Renowned psychologist Jordan Peterson describes it this way, quote, the purpose of life is to find a mode of being so meaningful that the fact that life's suffering itself is no longer relevant, end quote. When Solomon creates these binary categories, as he often does, what he is doing is describing a target mode of being. Target as in be this way and don't be this way. Credibility step one. Solomon says a faithful witness does not lie, but a false witness breathes out lies. Well, this is a very binary statement. According to this proverb, you are either a person that lies with every breath you take, or you never lie. And we all know the truth is somewhere in between. The binary nature of this verse does not intend to categorize all people as either liars or George Washington truth-tellers, but rather to establish two modes of being. Mode number one, a faithful witness, is the kind of person that does not lie. They are faithful because they can be trusted. They can be trusted because they are known to tell the truth. This is the defining characteristic of credibility. Do you want people to count you as a credible person? Then tell the truth. Be of such character that the information you provide can always be trusted. Let your mode of being be credible. Mode number two, a false witness, is the kind of person that with every breath they exhale tells a lie. Their very existence is a lie. They cannot be trusted and thus have no credibility. Yet the gullible will come back to the feeding trough of their lies again and again just to hear another one of their sweet little lies. As you walk away, as we say goodbye, what I wouldn't give for a tender lie. So says the song by Restless Heart. Step one takeaway, understand what a person of credibility looks like and understand when a person cannot be trusted. Credibility step two. Solomon says, a scoffer seeks wisdom in vain, but knowledge is easy for a man of understanding. Again, a very binary statement. You are either a scoffer or a man of understanding. The truth is, we wear both hats. Again, Solomon is describing alternate modes of being. Mode number one, a man of understanding. The person of understanding finds learning to be easy. Why? Because they are not so arrogant to think that they know everything, and they are therefore eager to hear what others have to say. Their humility turns them into a sponge for information, always listening, always learning. It is a mode of being driven by their humility. Let your mode of being be understanding. Mode number two, a scoffer. The scoffer may pretend he is seeking wisdom, but when he hears it, he will simply dismiss it, saying things like, oh, I knew that already, and what did you tell me for? I, everybody knows that. Scoffing is the natural reaction from a person filled with pride. 
The scoffer is so filled with pride, he refuses to allow that there may be someone somewhere that could actually provide him with helpful information. Either that, or he will dismiss the information as incorrect. Step two, take away. Understand that a person's credibility is directly inverted to their pride. The more pride they have, the less credible they will be. The less pride they have, the greater their credibility. If they sound boastful and prideful, they are likely not credible. Credibility step three. Solomon says, leave the presence of a fool, for there you do not meet words of knowledge. And now we get to the heart of the matter. By laying these three clauses in parallel, and by placing this third clause as a concluding progressive parallel proverb, we come to the conclusion that Solomon is driving to. This grouping of proverbs is designed to instruct the listener how and when to walk away by observing who is speaking and what their mode of being is. The only person that is envisioned in this proverb, this concluding proverb, is a third party. Up till now, we have seen the mode of being that included the faithful witness slash man of understanding. That was mode number one. And the mode of being that included the false witness slash scoffer, mode number two. Now we are thinking about neither of these, but rather a third party. The third party is a person that must adjudicate between these two modes of being and discern what action to take based on that adjudication. Solomon will give the action, then explain why the action must be taken. The action is, leave the presence of a fool. Solomon equates mode of being number two with that of a fool. He says the false witness slash scoffer is by virtue of their mode of being a fool. They are filled with pride so much so that they lie when the truth would be easier to tell. They scoff at information given to them because in their own eyes they are too smart to be told anything. Solomon says to us, look at who is talking and if their mode of being falls into category of mode of being number two, walk away. Why should you walk away, Solomon says, for there you do not meet words of knowledge. In other words, they have nothing of value for you. You can't trust them, number one, and won't have any helpful information anyway because of their arrogant scoffing nature, number two. Nothing is to be gained from being in their presence. Don't argue with them. Don't challenge their mode of being. Don't try to fix what cannot be fixed. Just walk away. Step three takeaway, understand the mode of being for the people with which you have contact. Cease to have contact with them when their mode of being is destructive. If they look and sound incredible, they probably are. Walk away. Friend, Jesus said it this way, do not cast your pearls before swine. Know when it is time to stay, work, and help, and when it is time to to look who is talking and walk away. Thanks for joining us today on Begin in the Word. I hope as you've begun today in the Word of God, you will live out today in the Word of God.